dear students now we are going to draw your orthographic view of your given pictorial diagram see students whenever you are given a 3d diagram kindly search for this arrowhead the arrowhead indicates your front view of your diagram clear for your identification i have shaded with your green color over here which will be visible on your front view similarly when i view from your top direction whatever will be visible to you i have just shaded with your blue color similarly i have your right side view so which will be shaded with your brown color for your reference now i am going to start to draw your diagram see students in this diagram your entire diagram is being going to draw only using your line command we have been already familiar how to draw your title block and your margins using your line command i just made your first click see i am able to identify an inclined line so your ortho is off so we have to switch on your ortho for that i have to press your f8 if you press your f8 your ortho has been on i made my second click okay then escape see students always your front view will be uh, above your xy line so first i have to draw your front view see over here your height has been 8 8 and your width has been 18 similarly 28 similarly 18 8 so first i am going to just click your line over here i made your first click 18 your height has been 8 once again on your x direction 18 your height has been 8 escape escape okay once again click your line your first point 20 8 20 enter okay escape once again your next box 18 enter 8 enter and 18 enter escape now i completed this part next i have to draw this box okay so your height has been 16 your width has been 8 okay so height has been 16 your width has been 8 i just zoomed it i just clicked your line button i moved your cursor over here see at your midpoint i will be getting a change of your triangular symbol i just made a click 4 16 8 enter 16 enter 4 enter escape so now i have drawn your front view of your diagram see always when the whatever your visible edges will be your dark line so i just selected the entire thing click by layer click line weight settings see to that this check box has been checked in and you have select your line thickness as 0.35 and click okay okay so i selected it and i made selected your line thickness as 0.35 then press escape now i completed your front view next i have to draw your top view okay your top view back side line that has been 56 because 18 20 plus 18 it is 56 over here it has been 12 sorry over here it has been 16 over here it has been 12 okay so first i just clicked your line i placed your mouse over here i have not made any click i just moving to your downward direction you can see a projection line is being created okay so my first click and i moved it i just placed your mouse over here to get your projection line so i got it over here next it is 16 enter 12 enter escape once again line 16 enter 12 enter escape clear your next your total width of your object has been 32 your total width has been 32 okay from here i have to draw your midpoint okay so first what i am going to do is i just clicked your line i just moved it over here on your midpoint i just made a click and i entered 32 escape see students this width has been 20 so what i am going to do is so i am going to draw it your 10 10 from here it has been 10 enter 10 enter escape once again from this point 10 enter escape now i have to join these two lines so i just clicked your line i made your first click and i made my second click similarly over here line 
first click second click escape next i have to draw the students see over here it has been 14 and your width has been 8 okay similarly at your bottom it has been 24 so first what i am going to do is i have just clicked your line over here i made your first point over here 4 enter 4 enter it is 14 enter 8 enter once again 14 enter escape okay once again i have to draw for another 10 mm so 10 enter 8 enter 10 escape so no need for this line students so i have just selected it i have deleted it now i have drawn your top view okay next i have to draw your right side view students first this box its width is 16 your height has been 8 your next to this box 16 and your height has been 8 okay so i just clicked your line over here i just placed your mouse over here and i got your construction line 16 8 16 8 escape once again line 16 8 16 okay next i have to draw your height see over here your height has been 16 and your top it has been 14 and your bottom it has been 24 okay so what i am going to do is first i have just clicked your line over here 16 and 14 escape once again line 24 and i have just joined it okay escape now i have drawn your entire di uh, diagram students now once again zoom enter a enter now i have to mark your dimension before you are marking your dimension i just click to your by layer okay your next i am going to first set your dim style that is your style of your dimension your command will be dim style okay you click your modify over here on your symbols and arrowhead tab see to that your arrow height is 4 on your text tab your text height should be 5 your primary units it will be 0 0.00 okay then click ok close so i have to mark your dimension linear my first point second point it has been 18 once again linear my first point and second point see to that it should be on a straight line so whenever you get an into one circle when you made a click over here it will be on a straight line you can see all your dimension lines been on your straight line once again linear first point second point escape ok next i have to mark your width your total height is from this point to this point it has been 16 from here linear to this point to this point it has been 8 ok so I am coming for your top view just click linear from to this point to this point 16 once again linear from this point to this point has been 16 ok so i have to mark this 12 so linear first point to second point it has been 12 similarly linear first point to second point c to the it should be on your same line so i made a click so you can see it has been 12 clear students next coming for your side view linear first point to second point it has been 8 linear first point to second point it has been 14 once again see it is not on a straight line so i just made a linear first point to second point 
I am taking a reference line from here. So, everything should be on your straight line. Okay. Your next uh, linear from this point to this point it has been 24. Okay. So, after uh, completing your diagram with your dimensions, I have to write your front view, top view and side view. For that, I am going to just click your text over here. I made my first click. I am going to give you a height. For that, I have to type H enter your height of your text is 5 enter and I am going to get your second I am going to type it as front view F R O N T space V I E W close text editor see to that you select your text move it so M is your shortcut for your move I just placed it over here ok next I am going to write your top view once again click your text over here already we have entered your text height as 5 so already it will be taking it uh, so top your top space v i e w close editor select your text move your m shortcut for your move enter just move it to your and place it on your center of your Next, I have to type your right side view. Click your text over here. First click, second click, R I G H T side view. Close editor. Select your text, move, enter. So, now I have completed your front, top and side view of your diagram. Okay. So, we will meet on your next lecture. Thank you all for your listening.